Hi there, Bill from Polygon here. In this video, you'll learn how to increase the realism of your materials by adding in some surface imperfections. Why is this important? Well, nothing in the real world is perfect and adding in signs of wear and use will greatly improve the realism of your scenes. In this example, we'll be adding general wipes and scratches to our wooden floor. The imperfection maps that I'll be using are Floor Smudges Medium 001 and Gun Scratches 003. Neither of these are included in our free library, but I've included a Dropbox link uh, to the specific maps I'm using so you can follow along. Okay, this scene should look familiar. It's where we left off in the last video, so let's dive right in and get the wipes added. First, make some room between the material group and the principled shader. Then add in an image texture node by pressing Shift A, going to texture, and then image texture. Next, we need to load in our wipes. I'm going to use this one. Uh, the white marks on a black background. This is the one you'd always want to pick uh, when you're using a roughness workflow because it's just easier. Set the image's color space to non-color data as this is not going to be affecting our material's color in any way. This will ensure we get the full detail from our imperfection map. Next, press Shift A again and add in a color mix RGB node. Set it to screen, which takes the white areas of the bottom input and overlays it nicely onto the top. Drop it in between the roughness output of the material and the input on the shader. Connect the wipes texture to the bottom input, and that's it. Now, as we increase the mix RGB screen value, you'll notice the smudges appearing on the material. I'm currently exaggerating the effect so it shows up on the video nicely, but in a real setting, you'd want to make sure you don't overdo it. The goal is to hint at the floor being used, not make it look dirty. Anyway, with our wipes in place, let's move to our scratches. I'm going to bring in another texture, uh, just like before, this time it will be our scratches. And for ease, I'm going to bring in the black scratches on a white background, uh, which I'll also set to non-color data. You may have noticed that the folder also included a normal map, um, which might seem like the logical choice, but I'm avoiding that as the floor is already using one and combining normal maps is a challenge in Blender currently. Um, this black and white map will instead allow us to add in additional bump. So let's uh, press Shift A, add in a vector bump node. Uh, we'll drop it in after the normal output of the material. This node will preserve our original normals, but allow us to use our scratches uh, to add bump to it. Now, here we instantly have a problem. Our scratches are way too big. While the wipes actually fit the floor quite nicely, uh, the scratches need some adjustment. To do this, duplicate the mapping node, connect the UV output of the texture coordinate node to it, and then output the vector input of our texture. Now we can raise the scale to something like 14, and now our scratches look like they're the right size. You can obviously do this to the wipes as well if you need to make adjustments to its scaling. The only thing left now is to lower the strength and distance of our bump until you get a nice subtle result. Um, I'll leave mine a little higher so, so it's still clear on the video though. And that's it. You can use this technique on a variety of different materials and Polygon has a number of these imperfection maps so you can avoid any repetition with it. In the next videos, I'll be covering displacement and adaptive subdivision, and also how to combine multiple materials together and dealing with texture repetition on larger areas.